Hi everybody, welcome to week three of Digital History and Memory. I am really excited to uh, start our discussion this week with our um, sort of synthesis of the main arguments of the Putnam article that I assigned for Friday week two, and to get into all the really great points you all are raising in the annotations. I'm just, um, it's Sunday right now and I'm doing the reading through the annotations and creating my questions and there's such a lot of stuff to talk about with this particular article. Um, so I'm excited for our Monday discussion either in the annotations uh, or on the Padlet or in class. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Then um, we also have our introduction of one of my favorite set of digital or digital history resource, which is the Suffrage Postcard Project. So this is a fantastic database full of all of these postcards that were sent by women who were, or sorry, not not just women, suffragists who were active in the suffrage movement. So the women, the movement for women's right to vote in the United States and Britain in um, the early 20th century. And we're going to be talking about all the complicated things that come up when you start to catalog and um, analyze images digitally. Uh, so we're going to talk about that on Wednesday. And then on Friday um, for week three, we will be reading and annotating an article by the, um, the facilitators or the people in charge of the Suffrage Postcard Project and thinking through uh, some of the things that they think through um, when they uh, were tagging those images and using the project as a teaching tool. So it's going to be a good week. I'm excited. <laughs> that's in terms of, that's what we're doing in terms of the content this week. And then also we have um, two kind of uh, upcoming assignment things that I'm going to be posting um, on Monday. So the first is a short participation reflection. So this is one of two reflections you'll do um, in this class based on how it's basically just getting a feel of how you're finding the class format, how you are engaging with the materials, and it's an opportunity for you to ask me any questions and for me to respond to those questions. And then I will also be posting the parameters of our first project journal assignment, um, which is not due until the end of week four, but I will be giving you sort of the guidelines of what that assignment entails. And so you'll have that in mind as you do the work for week three and week four because the project journal is basically your place to put down all your observations about the projects that the digital history projects that we're looking at um, for the next two weeks. All right. <laughs> so that's all that's going on. Um, I hope you all are doing well, that you're you had a good weekend and you are ready to start week three. And I will see some of you in class. I will see some of you online and just yeah, keep up the great work and I will talk to you soon. Bye.